One way to release the pec area in standing is to use a lacrosse ball against, um, use a lacrosse ball and do this uh, on a doorway. So the reason why the doorway matters is that it allows you to better, to put your body weight into the ball better. So let me show you. To start off, find out where the rib cage meets and go an inch above that because you don't want to um, you don't want to damage the lower part of your rib cage here. So go an inch above that and take the lacrosse ball and put this here. And then you're going to be leaning against the wall. But the doorway is going to be helpful because you're going to be putting one leg, the leg that one leg into the doorway and the other leg out in the hallway. And you're going to lean into the ball with your weight, with your body weight. And when you lean in, if it feels like it's too much weight, then you can ease off with your body weight. If it feels like it's not enough, then lean into it even more. All right, so that's your first release point. Your last release point is you find where your clavicles are and you go right below it. That's the last the last release point. And the second one is in between the first and the last. So there's three release points, one, two, three. Okay, first one is an inch above where the rib cage meets. Last one is right below the rib, uh, right below the collarbone, the clavicle. And then the middle one is between those two points. All right, so you're just placing the lacrosse ball in there, getting one leg into that doorway, leaning into the ball. And at each point, aim for about one to two minutes. When you lean into it, this sounds odd, but think about breathing into the ball, directing your breath into the ball when you release. So inhaling and try to inhale up against the ball. And then as you exhale, try to allow the ball to sink into your body. So these three points. And then after that, you're going to be releasing along the top portion of the pecs. You're going to go right below the collarbone as you're doing that. So starting from here, and you can do about three points. So from the middle, you start one, two, three. Number three should be where the shoulder joint is. All right. So one, two, three, and again, one leg's going to be going through the doorway and one's going to be out and you're going to put your weight into the ball. So one, two, three. Aim for about one to two minutes on each point and again, trying to breathe into the ball and as you exhale, allow your body to sink, allow the ball to sink into your body, okay? So three points, when you get to the last point, that's gonna be where that shoulder joint is. While you're there, you can do rotations of the arm, moving it up and down slightly, whatever feels like um, movement that it needs to move the tissue under the ball, okay? And that's gonna help to loosen up that area even more. So again, one, two, three across, and then one more will be right where your armpit is. You're gonna go in, there's gonna be a divot if you open your arms this way. You'll find kind of like a little indentation here. That's where the pec muscles insert onto your upper arm. So you're gonna put the ball there. If you can't find it, just try your best. Feel around where the muscle is. It's kind of right under the deltoid here. And you're gonna put that there. And again, leaning into the wall one leg going through the doorway, rotating the arm around if you need to, bringing it, um, ro rotating it back and forth so you can get those tissues to move under the ball. So that's how you release one side and then the other side again. Starting from the middle, right below the clavicle, go one, two, three points. The third point will be where that joint is and you'll feel it as you're moving your arm around kind of the crease here. And then after that, you go one right below on the upper arm. And that's where the pec um, attaches to release. 